We begin our broadcast in Ethiopia where, according to a new study, babies in the Embat on Tigray region are dying in their first month of life at four times the rate before the war cut off access to most medical care for over five million people. Hondiho has more. Women are dying during pregnancy or within 42 days of giving birth at five times the rate before the war. And children under five are dying at twice the rate, often because of easily preventable reasons. According to the yet published study shared by its authors with the Associated Press, almost two years have passed since the war started and Ethiopia's government has isolated the Tigray region from the rest of the world severing essential services such as electricity, phones, internet and banking. So we can say that the underfed mortality during war time doubled compared to the pre-war era. The neonatal mortality means days of a child or a neonate in the first 28 days of life also quadrupled as compared to the pre-war era from around 10 according to studies from Tigray in 2020 to around 76. A ceasefire in the war earlier this year allowed thousands of trucks of humanitarian aid into Tigray. Still, it renewed fighting in August and has stopped deliveries to the region where critical medical supplies like insulin and childhood vaccines have run out. There is an extreme shortage of medicines and equipment, the UN-backed investigators found. Pregnant women and young children least to blame for the fighting are among the most vulnerable. Local health authorities conducted the new study in May and June with financial support from two UN agencies. They studied more than 189,000 households in six of the regions, seven zones via cluster sampling. Maternal mortality was at 840 deaths per 100,000 live births up from a low 186 before the war. More than 80% of mothers died outside of a health facility, another stark uh, contrast to the study. More than 90% of mothers in Tigray before the war had prenatal care, and more than 70 benefited from skilled delivery, according to an analysis published in the BMJ Global Health Journal last year. That's a fourfold increase from pre war levels, and more than half of the death occurred at home without medical intervention. The most common causes were premature infections or the inability to establish breathing at birth. Vaccine preventable diseases like diarrhea, pneumonia accounted for majority of the cases, the study says. The study calls for more medical supplies, including painkillers, antibiotics, vaccines. IV fluids and drugs to induced labor after fatal death. Meanwhile, Ethiopia's government has accepted an invitation by the African Union to participate in peace talks aimed at ending a two-year conflict with rival Tigray forces. The talks would be the first formal negotiations between the two sides since the outbreak of the war in November 2020. Both sides had previously said they were prepared to participate in the AU-mediated talks, but intense fighting has continued to rage across Tigray. Paul Ndio, VOA News, Washington.